Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Our guest is Diana Lee in Osanto. Her credits include writing, directing, producing, acting. Oh, and I mentioned she's also a stunt coordinator. She joins us to discuss her diversified career as well as the Maverick Award that she will be receiving at the 7th Annual Action on Film International Film Festival in July. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. So you've done a few things. Just, just a, a little few. bit. <laughs> just a little bit, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your background, because this is an interesting that actually goes back through your family history. Oh, yeah. I'm Well, I mean, I'm most known, especially in the martial arts industry, because, well, I mean, my father is, well, he's considered a, an icon, actually. And, and your godfather. And my godfather, yeah, is the late Bruce Lee. That's yes. where I get the Diana Lee. Uh, wow. And so they were very close friends. And so uh -huh. having that in my background, I was actually, you know, uh, around a... Um, you know, I had the really creative, to... interesting people. Like, but they were well, all sure. men; they weren't women. No, in fact, it was actually really good to be raised by. I guess you could say to be raised by men because I think it actually prepared me for my future to become a director, actually, and to work in an industry like Hollywood because it's so male dominated. So, tell me some of the interesting people you've worked with. So I was saying you have done really worked in all phases of the industry. Who are some people who've left an impression on you? And when I mean that, I mean like maybe taught you something, yeah. helped you along, left that lasting impression where you say that person really made a real difference on my career. You know, I was very fortunate because, you know, I was a stunt woman. I had worked on a lot of A-list TV and A-list films. Yes. So I worked with Ung Lee, for instance, who did Brokeback Mountain. I worked right. with John Woo, who's known to be, you know, one of the leading action directors in Hollywood. I had a chance to uh, meet Clint Eastwood when he was doing Million Dollar Baby, and that comes that from... That was such a great film. Oh, it was, it? Yeah. and I, I met him because I had helped my friend Lucia Riker actually get the role that who played Blue Bear, actually, okay. who, who fights against Hillary, but uh -huh. it was interesting. She brought me on the set to, make, to, you know, to meet Clint, and it was great to watch him because it was well, right Well, think about I, everything that he's yeah. done. He obviously did so much great work Absolutely. in front of the camera, but now he's transitioned behind the camera. He's a multitasker. Yes, he is, and he's been recognized so much yeah. for his directing where people just say he's really a talented director. Director. Oh, he's amazing. And the way he works with his crew, I mean, he's so in sync with them. So I was really taking notes about that, you know, and so that it helped prepare me to direct my movie, The Sensei, actually. And it was almost like he had this sort of zen quality about him. And I, you know, but the same thing. And you get to absorb that then. Absolutely. But the same thing, too, with John Woo and Ang Lee. And so, again, you know, because I was a stunt woman and, and I had access to these great directors and these great producers, I could ask questions and just sit back and watch. and and see how they handle the set, how they handle their relationship with their crew members. Okay. Because I think that's so important. You're if you have a happy crew working, it makes a big difference in the quality of the picture oh, that's produced. Oh, I cannot end, tell it? you the the state of mind of the director really does play out to your crew and to your cast members. They pick up on that energy, and so you know I, I'm just forever grateful that I did you know have that. Why, in my why do you like directing? Why do you want to go into directing? I mean, you've done so many things. What is it about directing that appeals to you? You know, um, I think there's just this creative a, creative sort of element you have with your 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 cast. And, and when you feel a scene that's going just right, I mean, it's, it's a magical experience. Oh, you just experience. gave me goosebumps. Yeah. Exactly, when you think you've, we've been part of creating that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and, you know, and, and you know, that whole relationship that you have of your cast members and your crew and, and everything comes to together in sync, it, it really is a magical experience. And then, of course, when you finish the product and you, you take it to an audience and they resonate with your, with you your say, film. You I did that. Message. I directed right. that. Right. <laughs> you know, like with the sense, I still have people that write me say, thank you for making this movie because they have sort of a, a humanitarian tone to it. Right. And um, so and real quickly, you're receiving the Maverick Award at this film festival. How terrific is that for I, you? I feel so honored. <laughs> I feel so blown away because, you know, I mean, to, to be the first woman, that's quite an honor. And um, I'm just so grateful and uh you know, I, I, I hope I won't be the last either, oh, you know. Oh, how well put. Yeah, exactly. You won't be the last one that will receive this award, yeah, right? Yeah. All right. So I remind people that the film festival is July 22nd through the 30th. Thank you so much for being with us, and thank you for watching Charter Local Edition.